G'day everyone, uh, Chris from Deloitte here again. Today I'll be sharing a further update on the instant asset write-off and sharing some practical examples. Please remember that this update contains general information only and does not constitute advice. Before making any decision or taking any action that may affect your finances or business, you should consult a qualified professional, advisor or tax agent. On the 9th of June, the Federal Government announced an extension to the deadline to qualify for the instant asset write-off. The deadline has been pushed back from the 30th of June 2020 to the 31st of December 2020, with the Australian Trucking Association playing a key role in this decision. As you'll recall, the instant asset write-off has been around for many years. Due to COVID-19, the regime was expanded in March this year as follows. The threshold for an individual asset was increased from 30,000 to 150,000 and the concession was expanded to include businesses with an aggregated turnover of up to 500 million. Previously, the threshold was 50 million. In addition, and for assets that do not qualify for the instant asset write-off, the government previously announced in March an accelerated depreciation regime called backing business investment for certain assets installed before the 30th of June, 2021. This measure provides for an immediate tax deduction for 50% of the asset's cost, with the balance due depreciated over the effective life of the asset. Whilst we understand that all businesses and industries are different, here are a few examples of assets that may qualify for the instant asset write-off and a few that don't. We assume that the aggregated turnover in each example is less than 500 million. Example one. A second-hand prime mover is purchased for $100,000 in April 2020 and first used in the same month. The instant asset write-off should apply. However, a brand new prime mover that cost $250,000 will not qualify for the instant asset write-off as the cost exceeds $150,000, but instead should be eligible for the accelerated depreciation regime. Example two, new machinery that costs less than $150,000 that is purchased today delivered in August and installed in September should apply for the instant asset write-off. But if delivery and installation is expected to be completed in say, January 2021, the instant asset write-off will not apply. However, the accelerated depreciation regime may apply to this purchase. Example three, two vans are purchased for $20,000 each, which are delivered in June and October 2020 and the first van is used in the same month that they, they are delivered. Previously, only the van delivered in June would have been eligible for the instant asset write-off. However, due to the extension of the instant asset write-off to the 31st of December, the business will now be able to apply the regime to both. The example four, a trailer was purchased for 120,000, delivered in June 2020, and first in used in that month. Previously, the cost of the trailer would have meant that it would not have been previously eligible for the instant asset write-off. However, as the threshold has now been increased from 30 to 150,000, the businesses will now be able to apply the instant asset write-off to the trailer. Further to this, there are several key aspects of the instant asset write-off. Firstly, the asset can either be new or second-hand. Secondly, the concession applies on a per asset basis, meaning a company can take advantage of the concession for the acquisition of multiple assets. Thirdly, the asset must be first used or installed between the 12th of March and the 31st of December 2020. If there is a lead time on the delivery or installation requirements, you'll need to make sure this occurs before the new deadline. Finally, the assets purchased during the income tax year but before the 12th of March 2020, please remember that you may be able to still obtain the instant asset write-off, which allowed an immediate deduction for businesses with turnover of up to 50 million for assets with a cost of less than 30,000. I hope today's been helpful. We'd like to thank the ATA for the opportunity to share this information with your members. And please remember, before making any decision or taking any action that may affect your finances or business, you should consult a qualified professional, advisor or tax agent. Authorised by Ben Maguire for the Australian Trucking Association, Canberra.